You're listening to the 5 Minute Friday podcast episode of The Aligned Self. This is your host, Daniel Danovi. Okay, 5 Minute Friday, a short and concise podcast episode of The Aligned Self designed to leave you with a question, an idea, a strategy, a tip, a hack in order to give you greater access to your conscious awareness, evolving your conscious awareness, or give you greater mastery over your mind. Hello, friend, and welcome into this 5-Minute Friday. Today, I'm going to talk about being in the present moment. There's no time like the present. Isn't that true? Like, why put off till tomorrow what you can do today? If I'm completely honest, what has prompted this conversation is a fortune cookie. I opened up fortune cookie. My wife and I had... Chinese the other day, and I had forgotten to open up my fortune cookie. So this morning, I opened it up, and this is what it said. It doesn't sound exactly like Confucius, but the sentiment is all the same. This instant is the only time there is. This instant is the only time there is. In other words, all we have access to at this given moment is this given moment. We do not have access to the past or the future. These are conceptual at best. You may say, I remember having things and done things in the past. Things were done to me, things I I participated in. But the thing is, is once things are done, they're done. And I wonder if you ever thought about it. You know, your time on the planet, whether you're 25, 30, 50, 60, or older... How many of those experiences from the past do you actually remember? Do you pick only a half a dozen to play repeatedly or over and over again? Or use specific events in your life to say these are the forks in a row? These these help set the trajectory of my life. And I continue to wonder, and you might wonder, why did you pick those experiences to be the guiding force in your life to determine who you are today? And we do that. We take these experiences from the past and we project them into tomorrow and say, this is who I am today because of where I've been. Well, it's all been a choice for the most part. How many of the experiences that you've been involved in in your life have you completely forgotten that if you were to look at those situations in a particular way could have immense meaning? You could actually create a whole story about why, you know, a look from a person in a grocery store shifted and changed your life forever. Much of my work on self-concept and people's self-identities hinges on the idea that we create or process our past in a particular way. Most people think of time as linear, moving from left to right, or if you're in an Asian country, from right to left, while others think about time as the future being in front of you and the past being behind you, there are internal representations we have about time. And as you may think about it, if you think about the past, where in your mental screen does it occur? Now, we're leaning into the whole concept of NLP or Neuro Linguistic Programming and Timeline Therapy, which takes a look at how do we internally process time, the past, the future, And how do we process certain stories? How do we reimagine it in our mind? What are the qualities? How do we process it? And through these disciplines, we learn that if we change how we process it, we change our experience of it. This, again, all lends credence to the idea that time, the past, the present, the future is conceptual at best. So going back to our fortune, this instant is the only time there is. So all we have access to is the present moment. It's the only thing, thing that's really of importance. The present is our point of power. What we create in this moment determines our experience in the next moment. And being immersed fully in the moment, you lose access to the past. You lose access to the future. You're just present to what you're feeling right at this moment. And usually if you feel any type of anxiety or stress, you're projecting out into the future and usually not seeing the best outcome. Depression, pain, sadness is again associating with the past 
and being in this conversation that things should have, could have been some other way than the way they were. As human beings, we have a tendency to generalize our experience and usually not in the most effective way for feeling happy. But an interesting phenomena of the mind is the moment you begin thinking about your experience, trying to quantify, qualify what's currently going on, you're no longer in the present moment, but you're just a few moments behind the present. Just about all our thinking occurs in past tense. Like the world has already happened and we're just catching up to it. We're cogitating what we're thinking about it. We're, we're contemplating about what just happened and we're not in the present moment. And so when we're completely in the present moment right now, there is no past. There's really no thinking about it. You're just in the experiencing of life. And when you're completely in the experiencing of life in the moment, what usually arises is a sense of satisfaction, a sense of joy, a sense of happiness. It is not the other things that people call emotions. If you're feeling those, tune in and ask yourself, am I focusing on the past or am I focusing on the future? And then no matter what's going on emotionally with you, what sensations are there, you can say to yourself, in this moment, everything's okay. It doesn't matter if there's creditors at the door or there's some future outcome that you're feeling a little anxious about. In this moment, you're okay. None of that other stuff has happened yet. This moment is whole and complete. In this moment, you're alive. You're unabashedly alive. And so this is why when we talk about law of attraction, that your point of power is in the present moment, because right now there's really nothing going on. You're in a pure point of reception or receiving. It is only when we get caught up in the comparing of this moment to some other moment, some random moment, or some projected moment that we either feel good or we feel bad. We quantify whether or not we're on the right path or we're off the course or whether or not this is good or bad. That's all a judgment in comparison. But right now, things just are the way they are. And right now, in this moment, things are okay. And that feeling of satisfaction and okayness is where we really want to be. That's where we want our attention. This is how we begin manifesting the things we want. By releasing our perspective of the past or the future and just being in the present moment, being satisfied in the present moment. This is especially why meditation is so powerful, because we're focusing on our breath, we're having a thought and we're releasing the thought and bringing our awareness back to the present moment, our breathing or whatever tool is there. And we end up feeling satisfied. We end up feeling or being in the reception mode or in the state of receiving. And when you can stay in that place, in that state of receiving, you become a vacuum. You start attracting everything that is aligned with satisfaction and joys, the things that you really want. Because it's when we're focusing on aspects of the past or aspects of the future, we're not in the present moment and we're projecting a different way of being in the world and we start attracting and accumulating other experiences, manifestations that are aligned with that feeling that we're generating. If all you can say is right now, in this moment, I feel good. I feel okay. This is all right. And you take a breath and you're so thankful the fact that you have air, air, you can breathe. In this moment, you're you're taking in life-affirming, life-enriching oxygen. You're breathing. You're feeding the fuel. You're keeping yourself alive. And thank God that you have the opportunity to take another breath right now. Now, I brought this topic up because it is another spiritual lesson that I've learned over the last 50 years. Something I didn't mention when I talked about 50 years of wisdom just a couple episodes ago. But for yourself to really gain value out of this, I want you to begin tuning in and asking yourself, where do I spend the most amount of my time? Am I projecting out into the future or am I looking at the past? What stops me from being present in the moment and actually enjoying this present moment of immersing yourself in this instant in time? Because whether it's the present moment, the past, the future, it's all relative when you think about in the infinity of time. Time going on forever and ever, never having a beginning and never having an end. 
So in the context of the universe, there is no difference between this moment, one minute, 10 hours, 100 years. When you think about the eternity of time, every moment, every 100 years is simply a blip in the overall scheme of things. Chances are in 100 years, nobody is going to remember you or me. It's just not going to matter. And so you might ask yourself, why do I get caught up in the significance of certain actions? Why do I have fear about what's, what it's going to look like or how it's going to play out if in 100 years it's just not going to matter? Because frankly, all you have is this moment. If you seize the moment, carpe momento, I think that's, I made it up. Carpe diem is seize the day. But seize the moment. Seize your time right now. Own it. Own this moment. And you ask yourself, how do I want to be in this moment? And then be the person you want to be regardless of the past, because the past doesn't matter. The past is no longer in time and space. It's simply a remembering. And again, it's our choice in how we choose to remember that moment, whether we make it significant or not significant, whether it's important or not important. So from this moment right now, you can create everything. Until next time, this is your friend and host, Daniel Danovi, urging you to follow your bliss. Live your life from inner signals. Be inner-directed as you engage in the epic adventure. (laughs) 